Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for me to welcome you to episode number 6 of FIFA 16 players to watch out for and in today's episode of course we've got 10 more gems who should be absolute gods on FIFA 16. If you don't know what this series is about it's basically me predicting good players for FIFA 16 based on their potential on FIFA 15 and also their performances in real life when it comes to goals and assists. Uh, again, some more of your suggestions in this episode. If you want to drop any suggestions for the future episodes or the next episode, drop them in the comments section below and I will try and do that for you. But before we get into this video, I need to say thank you once again to you guys. And this time it is for 6,000 subscribers. And I... I it's just a huge thing. I know I'm going to talk about it more in probably a special video or an announcement video or whatever. But I am planning to do a face reveal for this video. So that's kind of exciting. You guys know what I sound like, but not what I look like. So uh, kind of kind of trepidation, but also an excitement going towards that one. But I will try and get that done for you. But once again, just a massive thank you for 6,000 subscribers. But going into the first player of this specific video, we have got Davy Klaassen of Ajax, the Eredivisie midfielder. He's a centre mid. He's 77 stat, good stamina, reactions, decent sprint speed, acceleration, jumping and strength. So pretty all-round, good passing as well, as you would expect from a centre mid. He's from the Netherlands, playing for Ajax, 21 years of age, high attacking and defensive work rate with three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. You could perhaps compare him to a Tony Cruz, not the huge amount of flair that you get from like a David Silva when it comes to skill moves or whatever, but he's very, very efficient at pinging the ball around and should have a very high potential on FIFA 16. Next up, though, we've got someone who I didn't even know before today, and this is Alex Tellez, or Tellez, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think it's Tellez. He's a left-back, 74 stat playing for Galatasaray in the Turkish Super League. Hasn't signed for a new team, so you should be able to get him in the first season or the first transfer window on FIFA 16 as long as he doesn't sign for another team. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, high attacking work rate, 21 years of age from Brazil, can play as a left-back or a left-mid. Uh, good crossing as well as acceleration, agility, balance and sprint speed. You probably want to play him as a left-back, but with that high attacking work rate, he'll bomb down the wings, support the wingers and put some good crosses in with that good crossing attribute. So he's certainly someone to look out for, perhaps on the cheap when it comes to fullbacks. Next up though, we've got Clinton Ngi of Lyon. I know this guy is linked with Tottenham as I'm recording this, but he hasn't signed for another team as of yet. So as I'm saying this... He should be available to sign in the first transfer window. 67 stat. I think he scored nine goals. Uh, sorry, eight goals and nine assists for Leon in a season where he was probably overshadowed by Lacazette and Fakir. Can play as a striker or a right winger with the speed uh, speciality. 20 years of age with that amazing acceleration and agility. Sprint speed and balance and also four-star skill moves as well as being able to play as a striker or a right winger. As I said, the Cameroonian playing for Leon in League 1. Next up, we've got another League 1 player and this time it is Morgan Sanson, the centre mid. 74 stat playing for Montpellier. Uh, good acceleration sprint speed, agility, stamina, reactions, fairly balanced player this guy as well. Uh, can play as a defensive mid or a left mid actually as well interestingly but given his lack of pace and his slight lack in dribbling I would probably suggest playing him as a centre mid or a defensive mid instead. He's 19 years of age which should mean he has very good potential given his current stat is 74 even on the next game as well. He's had a pretty decent season for Montpellier scoring six goals and getting four assists but yeah some good passing stats for him as well as dribbling ball control and 80 vision as well so another player who can ping it around a little bit but not too much flair but again very efficient with with his passing like Davy Clarsen earlier on but next up we've got Carlos Mane the sporting Lisbon right winger 73 stat with the acrobat speciality amazing acceleration sprint speed, uh, sprint speed sorry balance and agility as well as 80 dribbling decent volleys curb a bit of shot power and dribbling to boot can play as a right winger attacking mid or a left winger so fairly versatile high attacking work rate interestingly enough three star week for three star skill moves playing for sporting lisbon in the portuguese league and 20 years of age do you believe his potential at the moment is 84 and i think he's had a pretty decent season in real life with 41 appearances nine goals and six assists so he should be pretty good at least he should at least keep that 73 stat moving on to fifa 16 Next up, we've got the traditional under-the-radar player of the episode. This is Davi Selke, the current Werder Bremen striker, although I'm fairly sure he got the stats that he got, he did this whilst playing on loan to a Bundesliga 2 team. I'm not entirely sure, but he plays for Werder Bremen. Clearly, he was on loan from Werder Bremen. Medium attacking work rate, defensive work rate, uh, 70 stat, but he's had a very good season, scoring 10 goals and getting 4 assists in 33 games. 70 stat at the moment, but hopefully should get a bit of an increase. Good sprint speed, stamina, strength, reactions, decent finishing, as well as aggression, attack position, and ball control. He's from Germany, 9 19 years of age, pretty tall as well, so more of a physical player than your sort of flair striker. Next up though, we've got Shkodran Mustafi, fairly sure I pronounced that right, not entirely sure. I always say this, this guy was actually on uh, players to watch out for uh, for FIFA 15 and he ended up with 85 potential so I'm pretty proud of that one and he's going to be good again on FIFA 16. The Valencia centre-back, he's a stalwart in that Liga BBVA side. 
Probably one of the best centre-backs in that league at this moment in time. 78 stat, good jumping, uh, good interceptions as well. Stand tackling, sliding tackling, marking, as you would expect for a defender. High defensive work rate with low, uh, low attacking work rate, so he doesn't get forward too often and meander forward. 22 years of age, 3-star weak foot, 2-star skill moves. A very, very solid centre-back for a pretty decent team. He used to play for Everton, but they released him. Wonder what they think about that decision now. Next up, though, we've got Bilal Uld Cheek, uh, the FC Tventa 16-year-old, 67 stat right winger with good balance agility, acceleration, sprint speed, as you would expect with a winger these days. Good ball control and dribbling, but as you can see, 92, I think, is that balance. Uh, really good agility as well from the Netherlands. Four-star week for three-star skill. He's 16 years of age, swing around 85 or 86 potential in this game. He's a bit of a wonder kid, a bit of a gem sort of style over in the Eredivisie at the moment, so he should be pretty good on FIFA 16. A lot of potential for this guy, not only on FIFA, but also in real life. Next up, though, we've got Maximilian Arnold, the Wolfsburg centre mid, another player who I've had in players to watch out for, I think, for the last two seasons. The first thing I spr that springs to mind even when I see his attributes is that he's got a fairly okay physical page, you know, fairly balanced apart from jumping and strength. Um, but amazing long shots and shot power, especially seeing as he's got the potential to grow those attributes as well. So he looks a very good all-round centre mid with a very decent amount of long shots as well. So that should be pretty fun. From Germany, playing for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. 20 years of age, 75 stack, very versatile. He plays a centre mid, attacking mid, right mid or a left mid. And three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. He is left-footed um, as well, but that incredible versatility. Very good there, Max Arnold. He should be very good on FIFA 16. But finally, the final player of this episode. And we've got another under the radar player. This time it is Joe Garner. Now I realise if you're not based in England, this guy's going to mean absolutely nothing to you. 68 stat, 26 years of age. Shouldn't really have any sort of potential to grow more than 70 stat. He's got good jumping, sprint speed, balance, acceleration, finishing, heading accuracy at this moment in time. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, high attacking work rate from England. Playing for Preston but he got 25 goals or over in League One last year. Did a very good job in getting his team promoted. So now Preston have gone from the third tier of English football up to the second tier which means there's a bit more freedom for him to get a better stat because he's now a championship player especially with the season that he had last year fairly sure he, he must have got a team of the season somewhere along the lines when it comes to the football league team of the season Did they even still do that I'm not entirely sure but still he's he had a very very good season last year his team's been promoted and all of those sort of add together to hopefully giving him a much better stat maybe if you look if you're a lower league or a lower sort of tier Barclays Premier League team he might be someone to go for he could be 72 73 stat by FIFA 16 but in the meantime hope you have enjoyed this episode of FIFA 16 players to watch out for. Feel free to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new around here. And again, 50 likes would be absolutely awesome. We've been doing that, well, very, very easily on this series recently. Comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. And again, subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, also, comment as well if you've got any suggestions for next episode or future episodes. Once again, a massive, massive thank you for 6,000 subscribers. And I will make sure the video is special. I'll try and do a Q&A with a face reveal too. So that should be fairly interesting. All you guys have been asking for face cam for about like two years. Finally, I'll be bringing that to you. But in the meantime, it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>